Thank you for joining us for evening prayer. Our service will begin on page 41 of the Book of Common Prayer. Any other pages, we will prompt you to turn to. Thank you. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Dearly beloved, the scriptures teach us to acknowledge our many sins and offenses, not concealing them from our Heavenly Father, but confessing them with humble and obedient hearts, that we may obtain forgiveness by His infinite goodness and mercy. We ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before Almighty God, but especially when we come together in His presence, to give thanks for the great benefits we have received at His hands, to declare His most worthy praise, to hear His holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things which are necessary for our life and our salvation. Therefore, draw near with me to the throne of heavenly grace. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent. According to your promises, declare to all people, in Christ Jesus our Lord, and grant, O oh most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And, and our, our mouth mouths shall proclaim your, your praise. praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it, it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The, the Lord's name be praised. O gladsome light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O Giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. The psalm is Psalm 23 on page 295 on the King James Version. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, 
and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our first reading is from Nehemiah chapter 9, starting in the sixth verse. You are the Lord, you alone. You have made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their host, the earth and all that is on it, the seas and all that is in them, and you preserve all of them. And the host of heaven worships you. You are the Lord, the God who chose Abram and brought him out of Ur of the Chaldeans and gave him the name Abraham. You found his heart faithful before you, and you made with him the covenant to give to his offspring the land of, Cana of the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Amorite, the Perizzite, the Jebusite, and the Girgashite. And you have kept your promise, for you are righteous. And you saw the affliction of our fathers in Egypt, and heard their cry at the Red Sea, and performed signs and wonders against Pharaoh, and all his servants, and all the people of his land. For you knew that they acted arrogantly against our fathers. And you made a name for yourself, as it is to this day. And you divided the sea before them, so that they went through the midst of the sea on dry land. And you cast their pursuers into the depths, as a stone into mighty waters. By a pillar of cloud you led them in the day, and by a pillar of fire in the night, to light for them the way in which they should go. You came down on Mount Sinai and spoke with them from heaven, and gave them right rules and true laws, good statutes and commandments. And you made known to them your holy Sabbath, and commanded them commandments and statutes and a law by Moses, your servant. You gave them bread for heaven for their hunger, and brought water for them out of the rock of, for their thirst. And you told them to go in to possess the land that you, have sworn, that you had sworn to give them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Our first canticle is A Song of Creation on page 87. The Invocation and the Cosmic Order. Glorify, Glorify the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. In the firmament of His power, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, you angels and all powers of the Lord. O heavens and all waters above the heavens, sun and moon and stars of the sky, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, every shower of rain and fall of dew, all winds and fire and heat, winter and summer, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O chill and cold, drops of dew and flakes of snow, frost and cold, ice and sleet, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O nights and days, O shining light and enfolding dark, storm clouds and thunderbolts, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Our second reading is from the first letter of Peter, chapter 2, starting in the 13th verse. Be subject for the Lord's sake to every human institution, whether it be to the emperor as supreme, or to governors as sent by him to punish those who do evil, and to praise those who do good. For this is the will of God, that by doing good, you should put to silence the ignorance of foolish people. Live as people who are free, not using your freedom as a cover-up for evil, but living as servants of God. Honor everyone. Love the brotherhood. Fear God. Honor the emperor. Servants, be subject to your masters with all respect, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the unjust. For this is a gracious thing, when, mindful of God, one endures sor sorrows while suffering unjustly. For what credit is it if you sin and are beaten for it, you endure if when you sin and are beaten for it, you endure. But if when you do good and suffer for it, you endure, this is a gracious thing in the sight of God. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, 
leaving you an example, so that you might follow in his steps. He committed no sin, neither was a seat found in his mouth. When he was reviled, he did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but continued entrusting himself to him who judges justly. He himself bore, his sins, bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you were straying like sheep, but have now returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our next canticle is also on page 87, The Earth and Its Creatures. Let, Let the earth glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O mountains and hills, and all that grows upon the earth. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O springs of water, seas and streams, O whales and all that move in the waters. All birds of the air, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O beasts of the wild, and all you flocks and herds, O men and women everywhere, glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Our next reading is John 10, 1 to 10. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs in by another way, that man is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is a shepherd of the sheep. To him the gatekeeper opens. The sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name, and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. This figure of speech Jesus used with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So Jesus said, so Jesus again said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thieves come only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Apostles' Creed is found on page 46. I believe, I believe in God, God the, the Father Almighty, Almighty Creator, Creator of heaven and, and earth. I believe, I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us, and lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, and let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor, nor the, the hope, hope of the poor be taken, taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and, and take, take not your Holy Spirit, Spirit from us. O God, the source of all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, Bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. Our ongoing prayers are for Debbie, Fred, Audrey, Heather, Louie and Kay, Lori, Jerry, Aurelia, Jerry, Lisa, Jamie, Nancy, Jason and Angie, Martha, Jen, Carol, Kirsten, Tiana, Rochelle, John and Gladys, Wayne, Debbie, Jared, Tom, Debbie, Edward, Robert. Susan, Rose, James, Melinda, Mary Ellen, Andrea, Heidi, Bruce, Emily, Jonathan, Josiah, Thomas, Patricia, Kay, Kelly, Liberty, Baxter, Jackson, Hilda, Irene, Karen, Suzanne, Keba, Mark, Minion, Noel, Deborah, and those you would name. Lord, we thank you for being in our lives and for hearing our prayers. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our general thanksgiving is found on page 51. Almighty God, Father, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy, unworthy servants, servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. 
Amen. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their request. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.